Hello everyone and welcome back to hopefully if we can if we can extend it out a little bit the final episode for the Isla Pena five star tutorial. So I went ahead and saved up as you can see a considerable amount of money, but as soon as I start producing dinosaurs, it's not gonna make a difference at all. Because I'm gonna go ahead and make a Ceratosaurus really fast. I've already got one Dilo, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and release him out. Get him put on the trank list. Oh wait, oh no! <laughs> Oh, I completely forgot my Ceratosaurus and my uh, my T-Rex actually might get into a fight here. I oh wait, never mind. I just started incubating him. Whoa! I just had random freak out for no issue. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get a uh, awkward intro, or you know, troll me up in the chat if you guys want to. <laughs> I legitimately had a scare there, and I uh, completely flipped out for no reason. I, I thought I released him when I really was just uh, making him up. Oh well. <laughs> All right, so yeah, go ahead, uh, roast me in the chat, no, or roast me in the comments. <laughs> All right, so what I think I'm gonna go ahead and put over here is a Metriacanthosaurus. I think is what I'm gonna go for over here. I already know that I've. Oh, actually, no, I I don't think I believe I don't believe I have him unlocked. I believe I have the Majungasaurus unlocked. It's one of those, but as you can tell, they're super expensive already i think I'm, i think i'm gonna go with the uh metriacanthosaurus unfortunately i'm not entirely sure on if uh which one one of them has a social need of two so i think i'm gonna go with the uh majungasaurus maybe modify him out a little bit less see what he's got going on oh and he doesn't even have a oh no no way no way can we go with that i'll go with something light on him because his skin is pretty dark uh see we don't need the tooth hardiness uh no we don't need any of that either we let's see let's come over here to resilience we're not going to need any of that either yeah a lot of the stuff is just uh thrown on here for no reason reaction speed maybe make them live a little bit longer make a three million dollar dinosaur real quick <laughs> no big deal chump change right all right so let's move the the dilo over here and just like that all of our money is gone <laughs> insert meme here and it's gone <laughs> all right so now we have that nice challenge for incubating a dinosaur we have a dinosaur rating that that should be complete here shortly Let's see if we can get another contract i was actually expecting our money to uh, last a little bit longer but apparently not <laughs> uh sukumimus uh no i can't do that i i've already chosen my dinosaurs <laughs> all right there we go. Awkwardly waiting around for our dinosaurs to incubate. So let's go ahead. Let's see. So you're at 65% already. You come out pretty quick. So let's go ahead and knock you out, unfortunately. How old are you, actually? You have a very nice rating. You look very nice running straight through a tree. Literally just clipping straight through a tree. So you're 70. I, I'm hoping to get five stars before I have to replace a T-Rex. <laughs> Actually, uh, was the T-Rex more expensive than the uh, Majungasaurus? So it's $3 million for that. Oh, so they're pretty much right there at the same price. Oh, that's so weird to me. I don't know. It's so weird to me. One's modded out a little bit more, so maybe that's why. But that's all right. All right, so I got the Dilo moving on in. And if need be, I can make a, a couple more of those. I got the uh, ACU helicopter coming on over here. Getting ready to release him out. And the Majungasaurus here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and save the uh, rest of my money as well just out of the simple fact after I put in this uh, carnivore feeder I'm gonna go ahead and save the rest of the money just because I know that we're gonna need to improve the what's it called the uh, we need to put a couple more hotels and attractions in so that's gonna end up becoming an issue and that's gonna have obviously we don't have room down here for it so we're gonna have to end up branching out and Putting it up here, probably at this little corner right here, and a monorail station to go along with it. Alright, so while he's tranking out the uh, the T-Rex, let's go ahead and add the Ceratosaurus to the list. Actually, I think uh, we're going to go ahead and pile it on in on this one. Okay, so he's slumped out. So let's go over to the Ceratosaurus, because before he uh, tries to chomp out and kill the, uh, the T-Rex, because that would be a very bad day. Let's land a couple shots. I think it's two darts. Oh, he just missed him, really? That's all right. He does. Oh, what is that? Juke and move on the last second? What is this? You know, I get in here every single time just to embarrass myself for you guys. 
<laughs> oh well. There we go. So there's the second shot. So now we're finally good. You better just go ahead and go down, buddy. Alright. Let's go ahead and transport the Ceratosaurus over here with his lovely mate, lovely friend. Life finds a way, right? <laughs> but yeah, Majungasaurus, uh, 3 million. Oh, wow. Only at 60%. $3 million dinosaur. That's not a, a massively huge uh, <laughs> fan loved uh, carnivore. <clears throat> As uh, Dr. John Hammond would say, it's uh, spared no expense. Spared no expense. Let's see. So, what else can we throw in over here as well while we're at it? I think we're going to go ahead and incubate a. Uh, Another Corythosaurus, to be to be quite honest, because they're kind of... Oh, actually, nope. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself again. <laughs> we need to uh, save save our money to see if after this dinosaurs are, uh, are in here, if we need to increase our capacity or not. It looks like everything's going to be alright, and we only have a thousand guests, but everything's at 100% as well? Weird. Actually, no, the money's going to come back pretty quick, so I think at the same time we're going to need... Cory the we're gonna need a few of them. Actually, maybe just one more, and then maybe we can go with another Triceratops. What is their social group at? Oh yeah, I think I go for another guy. No big deal at all. Uh, I believe we can at least afford a Triceratops. At least I'm hoping so. Let's go check it out. It's all the way down. I always forget where it's at. All right, so it's not even really that modded out either. I'm gonna go ahead and change the pattern though. There we go. Get both of those guys coming on in. Some more herbivores to throw inside of here. Increase the, the variety. And there we are. We are just above four stars after uh, releasing the Ceratosaurus here. Social requirement, zero to three. Yep. All right, so he's doing all right. This Majungasaurus needs to hurry up as well because I'm not even 100% sure if it can handle the live in there. I might need to uh, change some stuff up over on this side. Might need to, like, cut out, like, another block and uh, give it some more space. Huh, actually, I didn't even think about that. We might have a little bit of a dino disaster on our hand. Speaking of that, we haven't had a storm in a while. Probably just jinxed it there, but that's alright. Oh, sorry about that. I forgot to uh, silence my phone as well. You guys probably didn't even hear that. Or if you did, it was probably quite obnoxious. Sorry. Alright, so we're coming in pretty good. I have the T-Rex coming up, so we need to knock him back out, unfortunately. And get them ready to uh, release these. Alright. So now we have the Majungasaurus. Play out his little intro here. Oh man. So tiny and hideous. <laughs> Dino stars, there we go. Now we're at four and a half stars. Actually, I don't know why I exited out, because I still need to see your stats to see how you're gonna be alright near. Oh, you're just barely at the threshold, huh? Little less forest, little little more grassland. You should be alright. At least I'm gonna hope you're gonna be alright. Pretty much right there, just under four and a half stars, if not right at four and a half stars. Just trying to make sure that it's going to be alright running around the uh, the exhibit there. He's coming in to be tranked out, and then we're going to trank out the rest and throw them in here. We got really lucky with the Majungasaurus being okay there. <laughs> alright, so let's check this out. Great capacity, everything's going on. Now it's just a matter of adding in a few more dinosaurs. So we're adding in, so we have a great variety as well. So literally just need to add in dinosaurs now. Let's go ahead and get the Triceratops out. Corythosaurus. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with a uh, Dilophosaurus. Just because we only have one dinosaur over there. It's easy to trank out and start moving some more. So let's go ahead and produce... Ooh, two more actually. We can go with two more. Alright, so we've got all these guys coming on out. Before you keep returning to base, we need you to uh, come over here and trank these guys. There we go. And then we're going to have a little bit for the uh, Dilos to be completely incubated. Just as long as the uh, capacity stays at great. Oh, look at that. Almost a half a million dollars a, a minute. Also on this island, uh, I remember that you unlock the Carnotaurus and everything. So that's pretty nice. Incubate and hatch and release two new dinosaurs. I can do that. Simple day. Okay. And there we are. Come up on 500,000. Ooh, nice. It's nice seeing that uh, 70,000 jump. 
So just while we're waiting for all of this, that way I don't have to keep like cutting and redoing, cutting and redoing. I'm gonna go ahead and pile it through and uh, have you all awkwardly watch me try to shoot down these uh, Triceratops, or the herbivores here. All right, so you're done. Let's see if I can get you from a distance. Oh, you moved just at the last second to get some leads on you. Oh man. <laughs> All right, come on over here. Let's see if we can get some hip fires. Am I going to run straight into the tree? I know the trees are obstacles for uh, for helicopters. There we go. Hit once. Let's, uh, oh, you need probably two, maybe three. Okay, yeah, you're, you're out. <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to be done over here for a while, moving dinosaurs, unless we need to uh, produce a ceratosaurus. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get him back up, because that's what's keeping us below four stars. See how far along the dialos are. 50%. So let's go ahead and uh, have him come over here and trank out. Build, connect, and power a gift shop, huh? I don't think I have anywhere to really build, power, and connect a gift shop. <laughs> Unless we uh, we need it right now. No, we're 100% pretty much on all of them. 98% going for everything. Visibility is pretty much up there, too. We're looking good. It looks like uh, once these last few dinosaurs come out and get transported over, we actually might hit that five stars. Maybe just in this one hotel area. I'm really stoked. Uh, now, I am actually going to go ahead and uh, cut two. I'm going to actually create that third Ceratosaurus as well as soon as I get enough money. I will come back to you guys as soon as uh, all these dinosaurs are put inside of their place just because I don't want to have you guys waiting around too long if I'm trying to make this the uh, final episode for you. All right, everyone, we are back. We have <laughs> put our T-Rex back. We have put the Ceratosaurus in here with his, his fellow members. Uh, we have moved over the, the other two Dilos. Now, one thing I do want to do is I have a Dilo here ready, and I have a Majungasaurus. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to trank out this last Majungasaurus. And actually, you know what? I may not even have to do that. I'll add them to the queue just in case it doesn't increase. But I will go ahead and release out this Majungosaurus right here. And that should, as soon as he's in, should put us right over the uh, five star mark. And there you have it right there. Five stars. We have done it. We have completed. Let's go ahead and uh, get him off of the uh, trank list there. <laughs> and as you can see, Dr. Ian Malkin's up there. Oh. And it looks like we're going to get roll credits scene for getting uh, five stars, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and back out of that. No big deal. All right, so there you all go. Uh, just just in this bottom corner alone, obviously, you could have you could have added quite a few more dinosaurs still in here. Like, the social requirement on these guys is 13. So you could have added uh, five or four and a half, five more uh, dilos in there for the price of one of these Majungasaurus. As well as the Ceratosaurus. You know, you, you guys can do everything that you want. But the basic outline of just this bottom corner for the five stars is completed. Uh, hopefully you've taken uh, some good tips away from this. And I hope that I've helped you out tremendously. Or even just a little bit. Just to get you above that four and a half, four and a half star point. There you have it. Uh, total dinosaur count. I know that uh, someone has asked me to see that last time. We have 22 total dinosaurs. Everything is at five stars. Great capacity. 100% except for visibility. But that's just to be given. You can't you can't see everything about the dinosaurs. So there you have it. Uh, just the bottom corner being used, like I said. So it leaves all of this open. I know I say all of this, like it's so much space on Isla Pena. It's so tiny. But you still have all of this space to probably create one, two, three, four, four more exhibits. Or who knows, if you just wanted to make one massive enclosure and just throw any type of dinosaur you want, you know? Maybe even another one over here, but you'd probably have to turn it into a guest area. But yeah, hope like I was saying, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I believe the next island is none other than the final island, where people often ask for tips on uh, my how to five star an island tutorial video. Is going to be Isla Sorna, and I will definitely uh, walk you guys through that through pain of all the uh, of all the storms of everything dino dino disaster is going to happen on that island all right everyone take care